Hey guys, it's Silver. Today I'll be spoiling my old webkin series, Whisper. I'm stealing this idea from both Moon Kitty, who makes the I Spoil Warriors series, and Magic Panda, who also stole from Moon Kitty and spoiled their story. Whisper was made in 2018. It's old and I never really scripted anything. Some things I just decided as I was filming. Enjoy! <laughs> Episode 1, Secrets to Behold. This is Rex, and his friend Daryl. For some reason they decided to go on a walk, but now they're lost and wandering around this sketchy town. Rex says, let's go knock on a door. Daryl, the sensible one, replies, how about no? They do it anyway. As they're walking up to a house, Mabel Rose comes out and is like, hey. And the boys are like, hey. So Mabel Rose takes them inside. Mabel's brother, Oliver, freaks out that she brought strangers inside, but they all ignore him. Mabel Rose shows the two strangers she just met where they can sleep inside her house. Rex asks, what was that barking outside? Mabel then tells a dramatic story. Yeah, there's this emo chick named Allie who brainwashes dogs. So tomorrow I'll call a guy I know and smuggle you out of town. Okay says Rex, who then goes to sleep. In the morning, they're all eating pancakes. Mabel Rose walks into the kitchen, gets a box thrown at her. Inside the box is a bow, and she tells Oliver, who's suddenly very concerned, I never touch on this or explain it again. Mabel Rose says goodbye as Rex and Daryl get into a car with a bunch of other dogs who apparently wandered into town. Daryl is unnerved by a fox who's staring at him. Rex calls him a baby. Suddenly the car stops, and it turns out Allie faced it head on, and now she's kidnapping everyone. Allie takes Rex to her evil lair and hisses violently for ten minutes before telling her guard dog to take Rex to termination. Also, Daryl got put in a cell with the weirdo fox. Turns out she's possessed by a ghost, and Daryl flips out because it's not Halloween. Episode 2, Termination. Rex wakes up in a lab. This African wild dog named Akachi is there too. Somehow Akachi knows what's about to happen and that they'll lose their memory, even though he's never been captured before. So they're like, well, what do we do? And Akachi's like, let's tell each other our life stories. Okay. So they chat for a while until Rowan the scientist shows up. She's all like, okay, time for your flu shots. Rex passes out because he's deathly afraid of needles. Rex wakes up and sees Allie staring at him. What are you doing? He asks. Practicing being Santa Claus and watch you while you're sleeping, she replies. How'd I do? Terrible, Rex answers. She eats herself out of there and Rex falls asleep again. Episode 3, The Past Returns to the Present. Mabel, Rose, and Oliver are walking down the street, discussing what to order from Taco Bell. A very angry Rex starts running at them. They both start booking it away. Mabel, Rose climbs a tree because she's smart. Rex screams and Mabel is like, gee, I wish I had some deep memory that would make him snap out of being crazy. She suddenly notices his necklace and gets a flashback. Turns out Rex and Mabel were kids together, and had one of those weird child romances. Turns out Mabel's parents are moving to New York, and she was going to a boarding school, which isn't cliche at all. Rex is very sad and says something sappy like, At least we'll always be sleeping under the same moon. Flashback forward and Mabel screams, It's May! When it is in fact March. Anyway, it's enough to snap Rex out of psycho mode. Rex is like, is it really you? Somehow not remembering what his childhood best friend looks like. And they start hitting on each other until Rex feels his psycho mode coming back. Mabel obviously gets herself out of there and Rex is angry again. Somehow Oliver, throughout the whole ordeal, didn't get very far because he's short. So Rex kidnaps him. Episode 4, Allie's Story. Rex takes Oliver back to Allie and she's like, I'ma kill you later. Oliver cries. This is when we learn Allie's backstory. Turns out she was a scientist, but hated her job so much that she passed out for three years. But because she was magic, she survived. That's about it. Episode 5, The Escape. Daryl is afraid of the ghost-possessed fox in his cell. For some reason, Allie decided to put some random horse there to guard them instead of a guard dog? I don't know why. Anyway, Daryl's like, bro, you gotta help me. She's gonna murder me. No, says the horse. Please? Okay. So the horse lets him out and they run away from the ghost. Meanwhile, Allie apparently has some sort of catastrophic plan she's cooking up, but we don't care about that right now. Daryl and the horse manage to escape the ghost, but there's a guard dog there. Where are you going? He asks. Uh, out for lunch? Oh, cool. Can you pick me up a cheeseburger? Yeah. And he lets them past. They're almost out and Daryl is like, let's go! And the horse is like, nah, I'ma stay here. They have Wi-Fi. Fine. Daryl leaves without him. Turns out angry Rex was following them and he yeets the horse. Apparently, he yeeted him so far he hit Daryl. They both die. Episode 6, Memories Return. A mailman is dropping off some of the mail and Re Rex screeches at him. Rex hates the mail. 
But turns out the letters are from Rex's sister. This is enough to make him stop being angry forever. Yay! He goes back to Allie for some reason and she's like, Rex sus. Rex panics and tells everyone, no, vote Allie. They eject Rex anyway. Episode 7, Home Free? Angry Akachi is dragging Rex's unconscious body away when Rex wakes up. Akachi is so stunned because he thought he was dead that he also snaps out of being angry. They talk about their feelings for a bit, before remembering they need to run from an emo ocelot. Akachi shows Rex the sick collar he found in a dumpster and Rex steals it because it makes him look hot. Then another guard dog comes and is like, sup. Akachi gets spooked and knocks him out. Rex does not care. They escape and are about to run into the sunset until Mabel Rose shows up and is like, hey, hey, Rex says back. We're escaping. Want to come with? No, my brother is still captured. Rex suddenly remembers that Allie said, I'm gonna kill you and is like, yeah, he did. Mabel Rose gets super sad and throws her bow at Rex and runs off. Rex is sad his girlfriend broke up with him, so Akachi takes him to 7-Eleven. Episode 8, The Battle. Allie is talking with Rowan about their favorite soda flavors. Rowan says, I made Pepsi that mutates animals. Allie's like, sick, I'll take your entire stock. Meanwhile, Rex has decided to come back because Allie must be stopped. He shows up and Allie's like, welcome back. Rex isn't happy about her greeting and reveals he brought his siblings with him. They all start fighting and Allie realizes no one is fighting her. She gets sad, so she leaves, picking up Rowan's death Pepsi along the way. Akachi and the Timbers win the fight, and they find Allie's emo diary and are like, let's burn it. So Akachi and Rex go outside to burn the diary, and Rex is like, I gotta find Allie because she's evil. Okay, says Akachi. And then it ends.